that when I was a resident that I wanted to work for this medical group uh, because it had the same structure and setup as, as the, the physician group at Mayo Clinic did that I was so impressed with in training. The organization gives us the freedom to practice pure medicine and we're divorced from the money aspect so that doesn't factor into what we do. In um, private practice as well you'll have turf wars where a patient with prostate cancer shows up to a urologist the urologist is definitely taking that patient to surgery. If they show up to the radiation oncologist, the radiation oncologist is definitely going to treat that patient with radiation. In our system, we have no incentives to do one thing or the other for the patient. So we see all the different specialists and get all the opinions, and we help them make a decision that's best for them. And I think that's beautiful. There's the patients that have been a part of the Kaiser Network for 30 years and they praise it with I've had nothing but great experience with Kaiser, the nurses, the docs, every single person we've met has been nothing but exemplary. The second type of patient is the one who was a little bit more skeptical or for whatever reason joined Kaiser but once they see the high quality work and have the experience they would never think about doing anything other than Kaiser Permanente moving forward for themselves or their family. These outcomes are being made more public. And as they're being made more public, it doesn't surprise me at all that we're starting to get very high rankings, the highest rankings possible in many different domains. Um, I think it's just simply another way to tell a story that's been present for a long period of time. And so to the extent that it reflects the quality we've always delivered and helps re represent that in a different way, I think it's great to be able to talk about. Uh, but I don't think it's new. I think it's something we've always done.